viewers of Sounding Board, and today we're going to look at another superpower figure, Superman. New for 2022. His package is almost identical to his original version, even right down to the C-shape of Superman here. And the figure looks almost identical to the original figure. And we already know he doesn't have Superman Punch. He does have his character card and the super the supermobile was in the original line but not the batwing so let's open them up and take a look we're doing this the old collector style where you cut the bubble off the package with a knife because you're going to save the pack because the part of this guy is saving the back of the package for the file that's on it because the file is a good size. It's not a small file like the Star Trek guys where I could rip Captain Kirk open and leave the file there. As you can see, like I said, here would be the Kenner uh, line logo. And this wasn't even on the original line there. I think it was right above there. They were DC superpowers. And he has the classic Superman logo from the uh, 70s and 80s. And there's Superman. I wish he wouldn't have put this hole punch through the case because this material shows right through it, shows the hole right through it. And so here's Superman from the front. He's got the same movement of Batman. Now they don't have waist movement. He has a different, like, he has, Batman has almost punching action. He has a little bit, he had a stronger reach. Superman did when you squeezed his legs together. There it is right there. The belts were glued on. And here's Superman's cape. It does have an S on it this time. Because I don't remember if the original version had a an, an, uh, silver, uh, it didn't have a, I know it didn't have the yellow S, but it might have had the uh, classic, uh, just a, bl a black S on the, over the red. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't one on it. He has his classic spit curl. His color scheme is very simple like the original superpowers. Even the face uh, face design is, and for for the time period of the original superpowers, these were really well sculpted figures for their day. And McFarlane's got it down pat. They were all to scale too, height wise. Uh, so Batman and Superman are the same height. If I remember correctly, Batman was supposed to be slightly shorter in the original line. It's not like Batman vs. Superman where Ben Affleck towers over Henry Cavill in the movie. And that's not in the battle armor if you see him as Clark and uh, Bruce Wayne. I know the Flash is skinnier. And I'm not sure about, and John Stewart, uh, I think, medium build. I don't think McFarlane ever released Deathstroke, Night, Nightwing, and uh, Wonder Woman. I had never seen, the, seen those figures in the, in, the, in the stores. But these are fun little figures just to play around with by yourself. Because you have, you could play with them, and they had the superpower abilities 
that they could uh, they could fight like a comic book, like in comic books. Brainiac kicked. Lex Luthor punched. Um, and Lex Luthor had a battle armor. Um, Joker had the hammer. Penguin had his uh, umbrella ability. And I think that's all Batman had as for him from his rogue gallery. The villains weren't as as predominant as the heroes in the line. There were more heroes than there was villains released in it. But like I said in the with the Batman clip, people buy these mainly for nostalgia, maybe to share something with their father to son. That this is a toy line I had when I was a kid. I used to love these things. Or they just bought their people are buying them to trophy them. Adults are. Because they can put them on their computers, leave them in the package, put them on the wall. But when you have a small selection, you're gonna end up with with a lot a lot of overstock. Because you don't have anything to complement them, villains. A lot of accessories, other superheroes even. And a big part of the superpower was the original 12. Original set was 12 figures actually. And then the second assortment I think was 12 and then 6 and then 4. Something like that. It's a really weird line and then a mail away Clark Kent. But it would have been interesting if they had made in this line too Clark Kent as well. But we'll stop there for now, and until next time, this is The Sounding Board, signing off.